seek recognition. Mr. Chairman, I move to strike the last word and to engage in a colloquy with the uh, ranking member of the committee. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me begin by thanking the gentleman from Washington and Chairman Young for accommodating my request for the second year in a row for an additional $20 million to be included in the Appropriations Bill for suicide prevention and outreach programs. The Committee last year honored uh, this request, and I think it's a clear demonstration of the Committee's intent that the Department do more and more uh, to end this epidemic of suicide among our active duty, guard, and reserve force. I do have a clarifying question I'd like to pose to the gentleman from Washington. Uh, is it the Committee's intent that the $20 million in this legislation, in additional suicide prevention funds, be made available for successful suicide prevention programs such as New Jersey's Vets for Warriors peer-to-peer -peer counseling and outreach program. The gentleman yield. I would be pleased to yield to the gentleman from Washington. I can assure the gentleman from New Jersey that the committee intends to fund those programs that most effectively minimize suicides. And I'd point out that in most of these situations, it's, you, this money is going to be competitively awarded. But I'm sure that the gentleman's uh, New Jersey program will compete very well. I thank the gentleman. Uh, and I'd also like to ask unanimous consent um, uh, or under general leave uh, for the chair to uh, insert in the record a letter from the American Legion, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the Disabled American Veterans, AMVETS, and the Marine Corps League, uh, a letter to Secretary Panetta uh, concerning this Vets for Warriors program. Gentleman's request is indeed covered by general leave. I, I thank the chairman. Uh, in this letter, the, vive, the five veteran service organizations note that of all the suicide prevention programs and alternatives explored by the department, quote, perhaps none have been more successful than the Vets per War for Warriors program, end quote. And I raise this letter, Mr. Chairman, because just this past week, uh, the National Academies of Science released a report on uh, the DOD and the VA's response to this explosion of PTSD cases um, and suicide-related mental health problems um, for veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. And uh, we want to make sure that the successful programs are recognized. And to date, no service member or veteran who has used uh, these Vets for Warriors or Vets to Vet program has taken his or her own life. They have been successful. One of the shortcomings in our government's approach to dealing with the suicide epidemic among service members and veterans is the assumption that only programs within the DOD and within the VA are capable of dealing with this crisis. And our experience in New Jersey strongly suggests otherwise. And I ask the gentleman from Washington and the chair of, their, uh, of the committee for their help in prodding the National Academies uh, and the government at large um, in evaluating the potential positive role of the community-based programs like the Vets for Warriors, uh, the role that they can play in helping defeat the suicide epidemic among our troops and veterans. Will the gentleman yield? I would yield. The gentleman from New Jersey has my assurance we will work with him on this issue, and I would just say that our chairman has been a great leader on this issue. No one has done more than Bill Young on this, and and uh, I just uh, um, I look forward to working with him and uh, trying to make sure that this program is completely and thoroughly evaluated by the Army, by the National Guard, and by the VA. With the gentleman and, yield, and I would yield to the gentleman from Florida. Thank the gentleman for yielding, and I appreciate the comments of Mr. Dix, our former chairman. I would say that I agree strongly with him, as I do most of the time. Uh, we have a, a great history of working together for many, many years, and we will be very happy to work together with you on this issue because it is a very, very important concern to all of us and to all the members of our committee, and I know to all the members of this House of Representatives. 
I thank the gentleman for yielding. And uh, reclaiming my time, I would reiterate my thanks to the chairman and to the ranking member for the strong attention and sensitive attention that they have given uh, to this matter. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.